Make it short and polite. Mastering the art of polite short answers in English. Hello, English learners. We're here today to guide you through a very important part of conversational English. Polite short answers. This skill will allow you to communicate more effectively, respond quickly, and express your ideas in a courteous way. Remember, mastering this part of the English language can significantly improve the impression you give during a conversation. Polite short answers are concise yet respectful responses we give in a conversation. They are usually used in informal settings, but can also be used in more formal situations to keep the conversation moving smoothly. Politeness is a key element of communication, especially in English, so knowing how to respond politely is an important skill. A polite short answer typically includes a verb and a subject pronoun. For instance, yes, I do, no, it wasn't, yes, she has. Note that the verb is in the same tense as in the question. The subject pronoun refers to who or what is doing the action. Let's look at some examples. Q. Do you like coffee? Polite short answer. Yes. I do. Q. Was it raining earlier? Polite short answer. No, it wasn't. Q. Has she finished her assignment? Polite short answer. Yes, she has. These responses are not only concise, but they also demonstrate a level of politeness by mirroring the question's language. Now that we've learned about polite short answers and seen some examples, let's practice. 1. Q. Do they live in New York? Your answer. Blank. 2. Q. Is it snowing outside? Your answer, blank. 3. Q. Have you visited the Eiffel Tower? Your answer, blank. Remember, the best way to learn is to practice. Feel free to pause the video and take your time with these exercises. Well done on making it to the end of this lesson on polite short answers. With consistent practice, you'll become proficient in giving short, polite answers in any conversation. Remember, mastering these skills can greatly enhance your fluency and confidence in English. Keep practicing and never stop learning. See you in our next lesson. Happy learning!